After having lived here in Germany for over 10 years now, I've experienced a lot of things, you know, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. And it took me a long time to get a bit of clarity on how I actually feel about this point because it could really go both ways. But I think respect is really an accurate description of how I feel about this point. And stay till the end because I will share, you know, the other way that it could have been framed. So what am I actually talking about? Well, in a nutshell, I'm talking about trust. And what I mean by trust is a belief in the truth and reliability of someone or something. I'm originally from the UK and trust has historically had a little bit more of a volatile history in the UK than it has in Germany. The UK, along with the US, is just a much more individualistic society as opposed to a conformist one. And there is really just a deeply ingrained sort of sense of mistrust between the social classes and the ruling elite in the UK. And I would say that Brexit was kind of the ultimate trust crusher. In contrast, the origins of trust in Germany can be traced back to its philosophical beginnings, truly really placed a strong emphasis on order, on responsibility and community. But without getting too philosophical or delving too much into Germany's past, there really are many examples of trust in Germany, which I see on a daily basis. Now, this is purely anecdotal, but one thing that surprised me when I first moved to Germany is public transport. You can essentially use public transport without getting a ticket, either accidentally or on purpose, if you're stitched that way. Sure, there are ticket controllers which go around regularly and check if you have a ticket, but it is essentially a trust-based system. You could theoretically use the public transport without getting a ticket, but you know, most people don't because they see the bigger picture. They understand that by buying a ticket, they are supporting the system as a whole and they want to contribute positively to German society. Vertrauen ist gut, Kontrolle ist besser, or trust is good, control is better, is definitely a phrase which applies much more in the UK in this context than it does in Germany. So actually train stations are very much like airports, as in you cannot actually get onto the platform without a ticket, at least in the larger cities. And another point which I actually also talked about here in this video, which I made about friendship and journey, you can cue that up to watch it after this one, is the level of a civic duty in Germany. Many people participate in uh, community activities and organizations, and this level of trust in each other and the community really helps to build up a very strong sense of social cohesion and social capital. I myself am part of a sports society here, and it is literally insane how much time, energy, and effort the organizers and the trainers put in to this sort of extra role. And this is essentially like another second full-time job, which they are not getting paid for. So trust is not just reflected in formal institutions and organizations or businesses. It is also evident in uh, at the everyday interactions in German society at a grassroots level. Trust in public spaces and also public safety is also really very high in Germany when compared to the UK. I remember when I left the UK, there were these big debates about CCTV and sort of public surveillance and the prevalence of public surveillance is absolutely mind-boggling in the UK. Not just government sort of owned cameras and devices, but really every tunnel corner shop, every sort of petrol station or kiosk has also their own uh, forms of surveillance and everything is pretty much just filmed and recorded 24-7. The reason given for this surveillance was, of course, back then, you know, it's for the common good, for public safety, uh, which really begs the question, you know, is it really necessary? And if it is necessary, then why is, you know, society so unsafe and unsecure? Now, this debate has largely kind of just petered out. Um, people have just accepted but sort of public uh, privacy and safety and security is something that's still held in very high regard in Germany and is really seen as something that needs to be protected. I certainly have never felt unsafe in Germany, even now with these sort of energy saving measures and the city streets can actually be really dark at night because they do dim down the street lights in certain areas. Um, but I've never felt unsafe and that's coming from someone who lives in Frankfurt am Main, which is supposedly one of the most dangerous and unsafe places in Germany. The healthcare system and also the welfare system is something that is really held in very high regard by the majority of the Germans. And the NHS in England, in the UK, is something that is often sort of put up on a pedestal as a great example of sort of free healthcare. 
but there really is rarely a month that goes by without the NHS being on the news for some kind of scandal or strikes or you know staff cuts or that kind of thing and it just really there's very low level of trust in this system on top of that trust in the government and the legal system also the media is really still significantly very high in germany when compared to places like the uk and the us where trust really is below 50 percent in many of these areas now as i mentioned at the beginning this topic could be sort of viewed or framed in a number of different ways and i'm sure there are a good portion of you watching this you probably do not agree with my take so far and you might see uh, the level of trust that German citizens have in institutions as maybe naive, as weak, as susceptible to abuse or corruption. Uh, but ultimately, I believe that trust is essential to the functioning of any society and the higher the level of trust, the higher the, the stability and the higher the potential is for uh, economic growth and well and obviously it's not static it is a changing entity and can be influenced positively or negatively by a huge array of factors what i will say is that trust seems to be a reciprocal relationship so when people trust each other and their institutions this creates some sort of a virtuous cycle uh, and strengthens trust really throughout the the country and the society given the conformist nature of german society the natural impulse is really to look to each other to look to the country's leaders and institutions to find a way to move forward together today germany is still recognized as being one of the most trustful societies in the entire world and this trust is often cited as one of the reasons for its economic stability. And this is why I really have a lot of respect for Germany, even with all that is going on, with all that has happened in the last few years. The country does still seem very cohesive, uh, very much together. And if you just compare it with countries like the UK, it can really help to sort of put things into perspective and really help to appreciate the situation a little more. If you like this video, it would really help me out if you could just hit the like button. And I would also love it if you could subscribe. Thank you so much. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.